And on take you, two. On you, Harold's correct. Rolling. So scene one, take two, soft sticks. When I was learning to be a filmmaker, or trying to be a filmmaker, I was also, to support myself, being a waitress like, for 10 years. I mean, I'm very, very good at waitressing, actually. Um, but what I learned there was that every table I had was a different set of people in a different set of situations and different relationships. And I got very, very good over those years at figuring out what people were feeling and what they needed. And I, I bring that level of intuition and sensitivity to, to all my on-set relationships, but particularly to actors, so that I, I really kind of try to tune in to, to what they need. And they don't ever all need the same thing ever. They need very different things. And so you have to be very, very, very agile to go and deal with, you know, the really highly specific thing that that person needs in that moment, but also have your eye on the very big picture. Make sure the orchestra is all playing, you know, in concert. It's challenging. I like it. It suits me. Um, coming from New Zealand, uh, growing up the way I did, I, I felt no obstacles. You know, my gender was completely irrelevant. And I uh, came into filmmaking at a time in New Zealand politically where the three highest positions in office, so the Prime Minister, the Chief Justice and the Governor General were all female. So it was very natural, very natural for me uh, to be a filmmaker. Many of my peers were female. Uh, coming now to base myself in, in the United States is <laughs> like leaping back in time and... Um, and I've, yeah, I, I find it very sobering, the lack of women uh, in this industry, and and um, and I think it's a very, very important conversation to to have and, and to keep having until that parity is restored. To young female filmmakers, I would say, uh, trust the feminine parts of yourself. You know, our ability to to communicate, our ability to multitask, our ability to take care of people and situations, um, uh, to be very, very sensitive, very compassionate, very empathetic. These are not necessarily, these are not only female qualities. You'll find that in the great male directors have these qualities also. Um, but I think uh, not enough people tell young female filmmakers that, that that's gold. It's a delicate balance between outward confidence and so everybody trusts you. I mean, the people that work for me deserve a strong, they deserve strong, stable leadership. And, and as I, as I, get older and more experienced I do get a lot more confident in what I'm able to do as a director but I think also what's incredibly important is that inside there's a part of you that's always striving to do better that that's not confident and 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 that's that's my edge and I think the edge of any any artist that wants to keep uh, pushing the limits of what they can do with each movie they make